Shalom, y'all. It's Shannon with Apex Tarot Pure Spirit. And I just did a reading. I'm uploading it, but I, I may just redo it and just talk about what came out here from the Hebrew. Just because I, I was really going real slow on that reading because I slept really, really hard last night and it's really taking a moment for my brain to kick in here. I hadn't slept that hard in a really long time. It was really nice. But anyway... We had the pay, the noon, and the mem come out. And there's a lot of water energy. We have the 17th letter, the 14th letter, and the 13th letter. You guys know I like to take the energy of vibration and correspond it with the higher canon and all that kind of stuff. I get whatever the spirit wants to speak. Um, in whatever's coming out here, I take it all. And then we, we, we balance that out to see what's, you know, what it is, what it's not. So we get the pay out here and that's our mouth that's speaking. It's on red. Okay. That's the root of something. When we speak something, it's a seed. It goes in the ground. Okay. So that's star energy. That's exposing something. That's the rudder to our ship. Got a lot of water out here. Okay, that is hope when we speak correctly. And by the way, happy birthday to uh, anybody who is celebrating today. Uh, this should be inspirational as you and I speak. Okay, nobody knows everything and that's why we need one another to bounce things off of, of each other and to listen and what you know, you teach me, what I know, I teach you. And we should be growing together as a family. We got energies out here, family here. Okay. Uh, we should be healing one another. Today's day, all of it breaks down to the uh, magician energy, which is about physicians as well. And our mouth is like a physician. Okay? Death and life is found in the what? The tongue. The rudder. The ship. What makes us go somewhere. Right? And um, we should get our downloads. That's mercury energy. We should get our downloads from the great divine to teach us how to speak a thing. We don't want to just blow out of our mouth things. It just does no, does nothing but cause ruckus. we got the mem out here. And the mem is about who, what, where, how. It's the sea. It's the unknown place where terror is. It's just nothing but waves all the time. You and I are made up, up of water. But what, what, what kind of water are you made up of? Because not everybody's water on the inside of them is the same. It's just not. And I was touching on that video. Uh, how some people, you know are part of a generation and some people are nothing but confusion in the earth okay this is the 13th letter which would take us to transformative energy and it exists for us to grow and to come to a place of learning and awaken in things uh, so that we're not duped okay but we do go through you know the sea but we're not drowned in it we walk also through the fire, but we don't smell like smoke, okay? And it's for testing purposes to find out who's who. The divine knows who you are, like I said before, but do you know who you are? Because once you ask the divine, who am I, then you begin to go on this journey and you find out what's inside of you. And what, when you're being stretched to the limit, are you able to humble the self and be a healing, a healing in the earth? where the other waters are found. This this represents the sea of people as well. The sea, the unknown place. Because there's a lot of people out there that are just... <laughs> there's a lot of unknown things that you find within people. Okay? Watery, emotional, heavy, heavy, heavy stuff. Um, and we got to go rescue. Because some of some people who are really of the divine of truth is, is is out here. And at one time, you and I have been out here. But at the same time, the divine has kept his people uh, from drowning, like I just said. So we've got the pay here. And um, it, it, it it's 17, which will go to the 8, which is also strength. Which is that 8 number that we keep getting. Transformative energy. And these two together make the 13, okay? Which is still transformative energy here. What we say, the seed that we put in the ground, this represents a seed. It represents being a prophet, prophesying a thing, but not just out of your own head, out of the downloads that you get from the divine that's leading the way, 
okay being a blessing what what figure out what the motive behind whatever you're speaking really is and discerning what other people are speaking okay because if you put the pay and the mem together that takes you to confusion energy okay where you really have to flip yourself around at the same time it's still prophecy energy okay but but it's you walking through the stormy sea or walking or figuring out how to walk on top of it and to release things so you don't drown and it's there for our learning okay because this, this, this would take us to discernment energy and it's huge and the sea is huge okay because it'll take us to that vibration of that three it also takes us to world energies empress hangman and world energies okay but at the end of it are you passing the test with that saturn testing of the devil or do you did you find out that you were uh, part of the uh, energies of truth in a kingdom in an heir of a kingdom which has an inheritance that's a refreshing river for deliverance and salvation because that's what this word represents okay where, where, where did you find yourself in the process did you find out you were the devil or did you find out that you overcame the world amazing what came out here um So anyway, these two will go um, to death energies anyway. And your family, because it makes a four and takes you up to the emperor energies. Headship. Where's your head at? Your eyes, your brain, your ears? What are you looking at? How are you perceiving something? And yet it's still emotional because it's water, but it's not confusion. Okay. So the pay in the noon was pin. And that word represented to turn the face. Now, I think the water signs on the 72-hour readings got this word. I believe. Anyway, the P in the N is a pin. And writing a new chapter in your life. This is a new generation. This letter here. Okay pregnancies and just continuing generation after generation because you're a part of a true family of deliverance and salvation okay you weren't meant to get all hung up in contracts and stuff and not be able to get out and be duped by them because you have your head put on straight okay you you bring transformative stuff to people you and i should or you're transforming people and drowning them. And that's the only reason why you're there is for their testing. And they're testing only to figure out if you're confusion, like I said, or you're part of this beautiful family over here. This heir to the kingdom. The offspring of the Most High. Okay? Beautiful energy coming out here with this. But anyway, the, if we're just looking at words now, what came out of here. Okay? And the spiritual meaning of things that came out in words. The pen represented... The turning of the face. Now, I just said writing a new chapter because I also look at things spiritually uh, through phonics as well because the divine told me to do that. Um, turning the face or as like turning toward another direction. When we speak and bring healing, that's transformative energy. We are able to turn around and be clear-minded about something. If you had started to be turned around with this confusion, then if you are literally getting those downloads from the divine, then you will be able to go a different direction in something positive. And you won't be like, who, what, when, where, how, what? Oh my God, there's nothing but a big old wave out here. Okay? You're able to turn your face on things that just don't serve you. Okay? Writing things... Uh, down in your next chapter, this new generation that's going to be something positive and literally inspirational. The star is something inspirational. It's nothing but success. It's harmonious conditions, and it should be with your family. It's faith-inspired energy. It's being able to create something. It being the phys your own physician because you belong to the divine, and you're just like the divine is. Okay? creating like the divine would want you to create something beautiful on the earth so then we had this um 
word in the other direction meant to hold on just a second it meant to shake a sieve or a sieve however you say that word I, I had a hard time pronouncing that the other day yeah I believe that the water signs got the um, this word and that meant to um, it's a picture of a mouth and it combined these this it represents a tool that is used to separate out materials such as seeds. Okay, well, we know a word is a seed and things being shaken. What's in your mouth? And I felt that the other day when I did that reading. I'm feeling it positive and negatively here. But, you know, when we go through, when we even go through our sea moments of unknown things, the divine is shaking things through to get things out of us. What is coming out of us? What kind of seeds are being planted along the way of our journey? Okay. Because this is um, something that's used to separate out materials that shouldn't be there. Stretched out is what the noon represents. Getting cleaned up, water cleans us. Salvation. Well, if you need salvation, then you're obviously finding yourself with things on the inside of you for purification, for that deliverance. You're not perfect, baby. It says children, and the divine teaches his children. Sometimes we fall down and we scrape our knee, okay? And But we learn by that. And sometimes we do things and daddy says, uh-uh. Get in the corner. Turn your face and get in the corner. Think about what you just did. Okay? Thinking, the brain, the mind speaking. It's important. Because if you really are somebody who's going to learn a lesson here and be somebody who is healing and bringing hope, then you will allow that shaking to occur inside of yourself. And you won't be afraid to, when, you, when you've grown up to a place and evolved, because today's date also takes us to a 10, which is the will. Which is learning lessons. It's also protection. Okay? And it's things that are foreign to us. But once you learn the lesson, you become a teacher because that's teacher energy. Okay? And then you don't have a problem saying, uh, 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 I did that. Mm -mm, you can't do that. And sometimes people won't listen. You've got to go, okay, well, then here, let me. Daddy says to do this because the family should be tight. To be able to continue something beautiful here and not allow wickedness to come in. And sometimes you got to be really fierce because the, the seawater is fierce against you and I. So this, um, and then those who just, you know, they get all offended and bent out of shape when they're being shook. They're none of, they're none of the divines then. They're not able to be saved. They're seared then. They're nothing but a confusion in the earth. Again. We find out who everybody is at the end. You either have passed the test and you get well reserved, deserved rewards, or you got the devil and you because you found out you were the devil on the inside by way of your rudder on the waters of the flood. This represents the flood, one of the meanings of the mem. It's the ma, okay? It's nothing but a confusion here. So then the, there was another word here um, that represented um, 12. So we also had another word combination that um, represented something very firm and sure. It also represented kind, K-I-N-D. And um, this was the picture of the mem and the noon together, okay? So the word here, because this is a seed, and we already know that our word is a seed as well. So, But with these two, this combination, the divine is showing here that the bloodline continues. This is what it represented. It represented uh, generations. It's right here just with this letter alone. But it's also the idea of strength that comes through this bloodline, through this generation, through this salvation energy, okay? It represents um, 
what comes from something else as one kind comes from the same okay being passed down from generation to generation to generation because there is a bloodline in the earth in, that is passed down we know that we've got generational things and it's, it comes from truth the bloodline of truth okay there's a there's a set portion amount inheritance with this energy that comes out here with being a part of the river you find it like I said we find out who we are by going through the waters but we don't get in we don't we come out of it we don't get drowned by it because we have a promise upon us for deliverance and salvation even to our offspring it will continue on and on if you are in truth and it's a firm word it's it represents something sure it's sure to happen okay the next word that came out here was um, sleep with this combination the other way. We've had this come out before actually and it represented to be semi-conscious and to, to be half asleep, half awake. Okay? And it's time to come awake because we have nothing here but with this combination which was the healing combination that gives strength the eight the eight in the hebrew is to be protected okay it's also the strength card compassion and when you and i are in the upright and in truth we are compassionate people we're bringing salvation and healing okay so that eight in that eighth house will take you to what this breaks down to anyway still the eight protection here because this bloodline that of truth will continue in the earth for salvation it's transformative energy you die and you right you raise it you're right it, it's a judgment on um resurrection sorry <laughs> <laughs> so even with just that alone that's going to what's transformative and it all starts with your mouth your downloads okay inside your waters your emotions because them together will still break down to that same house creation itself I create okay and um, it's, it's beautiful here Uh, and then this is sorry I was just thinking uh, just listening for a second and then this uh, this is also that transformative energy it's still a 13 but it's war it's only war <laughs> because it brings a confusion this way like I said so anyway I won't repeat that but that other word that came out of this was to sleep and it's time to wake up because that very energy of that house is to wake up again. To be salvation to someone and to speak something, to have them wake up. Get out of the semi-sleep. We know that we're in the judgment energy itself, okay? Here we are, the new generation. The new decade that we find ourselves in. So declaring the words of the most high getting out of this tired state i'm tired because all i am is just flooded all the time in my emotions and i don't know how to get out of this and and whatever and or you're in that kind of energy at the same time but you're over here walking through it going i don't really know how i'm going to get out but you do and i'm trusting that you're going to give me the download because i'm a part of truth and i'm a part of that bloodline in the earth I'm an heir of that kingdom, okay? I got a promise and a sure word upon me that I'm guided by the divine to lead the way. And I'm going to pass the test. Even to the end of the world, I'm going to hear, well done. You did it. You, you, you weren't afraid to speak up the truth. You weren't afraid even when you were going through all this stuff. You're, you proved that you were a part of my generation. You brought salvation because I'm salvation. My kids look like me. That's how that's how daddy looks at us. He's for us and not against us. Sometimes it feels like 
we've just been thrown into the sea and left there, but it, it, we're not left there. There is salvation and deliverance. So this is what come out on these words here. Like I said, I don't, that reading is uploading. Um, but it's pretty much same thing that's been coming out for a while so I'll just come back and do another reading and uh, this can just be our little special word so we got red here and that is the root and we really got to use our brain from the crown chakra to plant those seeds So that the rudder of our ship goes where it should go for salvation's sake. Shalom, y'all.